It's a toilet that sends emails and makes turkey sandwiches. Oh. And his answer, I swear to God, when I told him that was, that's a fucking awesome invention. No, it's not. Oh. Back on another one, you already read the title. Y'all know what time it is. Y'all know what time it is. We are back. What another time, Segura reaction video. I am doing the key to marriage. Now, <laughs> I don't. I can't say that I know what the keys to marriage is. Um, but I'm definitely interested to see what a comedian's key to marriage is. Like, I this is gonna be interesting. I can already tell. But. Before I do that, if you're new to this channel, welcome. Please hit that subscribe button. Please be a part of the So Crazy family. Because if you don't know, we get crazy Liddy over here. And we got videos coming every single day of the stuff that you want to see. So drop some suggestions in the comment section right now. But enough talking. Let's find out what the key to marriage is. Just relax. Thank you. Thank you very much. I feel like we are all connected. So there's a possibility that you are also related to my profoundly stupid cousin, Brian. Um, I'll tell you about my cousin. My cousin, he likes to call himself an inventor, which would be really cool, except he is not. He just likes to come up with ideas for stuff that would be really cool and has no idea how I'll to make do it. it. <laughs> I figured that's what he was going to say. I figured it. Like, that's just an asshole. You know what I mean? But... But he insists on using the word invention. Like, he'll be like, oh, did I tell you about my new invention? No, what is it? It's a cell phone that drives your car. <laughs> Whoa, how does that work? You just press a button on the phone. <laughs> yeah, dick, but how do you get the phone to do that? Well, you just program the phone. <laughs> With what? with fairy dust? <laughs> and then he gets mad at me. He'll be like, fuck you. <laughs> you don't like my invention. No, I love your invention. I also love sliding down a rainbow into a pot of gold. <laughs> it's not possible, man. So I told him, I have an invention. It's a toilet that sends emails and makes turkey sandwiches. <laughs> oh! And his answer, I swear to God, when I told him that was, that's a fucking awesome invention. No, it's not. <laughs> It's not real, man. Do you understand how fucking stupid he is? Are you wrapping your head around this? Right? He actually yeah. seriously thinks that he could go to a software engineer and be like, hey, how about a phone that drives the car for you? And that they would be like, what the phone? <laughs> you just invented that, man. That's crazy. Do you have any more? He's like, yeah, I got a whole bunch of them. Do you want to get for another one? Like, yeah. What about a shoe that's a fucking plane? Get the fuck out of here! Come on, man. First of all, I was already done after he said the toilet making sandwiches. I don't want none of my food near a, f a bathroom. I'm not, like, can quick question for my subscribers out there. I'm just curious on where you fall into this spectrum on this. Could y'all eat y'all food in a restroom? Have y'all done that before? Maybe, like, a drunk night or something? You brought a burrito or something? I like, could you eat anything in a bathroom? You was you was you a special type of person. That's just one. That's all I'm gonna say is you a special type of person. That's just that's that's beyond me. I can't. I just can't. Like, <laughs> write them down. Write them down. I got a lot of them. <laughs> like he's fucking. Yeah, I'm a genius. I know. I know. <laughs> he's also one of these assholes. Like if we go out to eat. And I order first, and I go like, uh, yeah, let me get the uh, teriyaki chicken. He'll be like, ah, oh, man, that's what I was going to get. You still can. <laughs> because we're at a restaurant. I didn't order the last one. <laughs> yeah, but then we'll both be eating the same thing. You know what I mean? No, I don't know what you mean. Because I'm eating it, and then you're eating it. It's weird. No, you're fucking weird. <laughs> I'm eating it, and then you're eating it. Do y'all feel weird, like, if you go out to eat with someone and you order the same thing as them? To me, I don't think nothing of it. I, like, yo, if we like the same thing, we like the same thing. There ain't nothing weird about that. 
But y'all let me know in the comment section if, you know what I'm saying, if, if like when you go to a restaurant, you subconsciously make sure you don't order the same thing as someone, or you consciously order the same thing as someone. You know what I'm saying? I've been on a couple dates and a girl be like, oh, what you eating? And then I say, and she's like, oh, that sounds good. I'm going to get that too. And she's like, oh, was you going to get it originally? I'm like, well, I really wanted da da da, da but you know, you just sold me on that. Like, have you ever sold someone on what you were eating somehow and you didn't know? <laughs> it's not weird. It's weird if I go, I'm going to propose to Christy, and then you go, I'm going to propose to Christy, too. That's, that's, that's fucking weird. weird. Yes. Well, then we have to have a conversation. <laughs> like, what are we going to eat at the wedding? Here's how I can tell that I'm getting older. I'm confusing words that I never confused before. Like, it'd be one thing if you're like, oh, I've always had trouble with these words. These are words I've never had trouble with, and now I do. And the two that I'm confusing the most are conscious and conscience. And I'll even pause now before I say them, and then I'll fuck it up. <laughs> like, I'll be like, I don't want to do that. I'm kind of self con <laughs> Self Congress about that. <laughs> but luckily, I have a wife and she will correct me, but in a code. Like, you wouldn't know that she's correcting me, but if I misspeak like that, my wife will turn to me and she'll go, uh, are you fucking retarded? And I'll be like, oh, yeah. Thank you. We're a team. People ask me all the time, Tom, what is the key to your marriage? Simple, I say, intimidation and fear. <laughs> what? My wife is Kim Jong-il, and I am the people of North Korea. <laughs> Drop in the comment section if you agree or disagree. Intimidation and fear. Every day, there are a series of interrogations leading to a looming execution, okay? I have a very question-oriented household. Like, my house is basically, she's like, hey, what are you doing? Why are you doing that? Why don't you come over here? Why don't you go over there? Why don't you put that up? Why don't you take that down? Why is that open? Why don't you close that? Why are you eating that? Why do you put it away? Why don't you drag it over here? Why don't you cut it up? Why don't you take it outside? Why don't you bring it back in? Why are you eating that? Why are you texting? Who are you texting? Who the fuck is Amanda? Thank you guys, you're a lot of fun. Enjoy the rest of your night. Thank you. Not the not the who is Amanda. <laughs> not the who is Amanda. What that was my Tom Sear keys to marriage. Um I don't know about I don't know about them keys, but but I feel like there might be some slight truth to that. I don't know. But you guys let me know what y'all think in the comment section right now. Also, if you still haven't hit that subscribe button, because I don't know what you're waiting on, please hit that subscribe button. Comment down below what you want to see me react to next. Follow me on all my social media links. They're all right here. Give those a follow one time, man. Um, we are on the road to 50,000 subscribers, so please help me reach that goal. I've done enough talking already. It's your boy, Billy. So crazy. I love all my subscribers. I'll see you guys in the next video, man. I'm out this thing.